Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Dvar, and here's a brand new halacha for you, and it's for Friday, the first day of February. Here we go. Today I'm going to tell you a halacha about Lashon Hara, about telling uh, evil things about another person. It's very common for someone to say, uh, so-and-so, oh, he's so short, you know, let's say that's your comment about so-and-so. And then your friend accosts you and says, hey, that's Lashon Hara, you're not allowed to say that about him. And you might want to respond by saying, but it's true, he's only four foot eleven. So you just defended what you said, and you know, the truth is he is 4'11", he is short, and all you did was call him short. So does that make it permissible? And the, you can probably tell where I'm going with this. The answer is no. He is short, he is 4'11", but there's no point in you saying that he's 4'11 to other people. It's derogatory. So saying that something is true does not make it permissible then under the uh, rubric of Lashon Hara. It's still evil to be, uh, you know, let's just say accentuating somebody's, what you're calling a flaw, and you're having a good laugh at his expense, you're demeaning that person even though you're saying something that's absolutely true about him, you're still demeaning him and therein lies one of the sins of Lush and Hard. So I want to quickly tell you, it's it's worth noting, like why is it that people try always to say Lush and Hard? Why, what, what do they need it for? Like why is it such a great... Uh, such a great benefit, like people feel like I want to tell us and her. And one of the common explanations is that oftentimes people feel small. They see other people being praised or other people getting more credit than them. And the person who's noticing this feels like a little bit inferior and wants to feel on the up and up and sometimes steps on other people's reputation and thereby ups his own reputation. That's why people are drawn to Lashon Hara. In other words, if you look at it this a different way, the person saying Lashon Hara is, also, is actually showing us his flaws, showing us his feelings of inferiority, because that would be the only reason why he would have joy in mocking another person is because he needs to feel higher up the rank and somehow stepping on someone else's uh, persona helps his persona rise up the rank. So please realize as you listen to Lashon Hara, or God forbid, or as you God forbid tell Lashon Hara, you're really just revealing a weakness in your own self every time you tell it, or even if you listen to it. That should help you be dissuaded from God forbid saying it, or listening to it the next time. Thanks for logging on. Log on again after Shabbos for more. Bye-bye.